Welcome back to Wasteland 2. I'm at a point where I'm not entirely sure how to go about accomplishing my goals. So I'm at the Griffith Observatory. I have a quest to help Maggie by freeing the Penitents, which I definitely want to do, although I want to do it in a way that hopefully doesn't make everybody want to shoot me. Because then I just end up killing all of them, and then I solve the entire quest by killing everybody, and that's kind of boring. I also kind of want to help Veronica. But apparently to do that I need to help Ascension McDade get in power of the Bastion, put him in power. And I don't think I want to do that because he's kind of a crazy torturer dude. So I don't know. I'm just going to see if I can go here because this is a new place that I've never been to and let's see if something happens. Keep moving scum. I don't know if that means he's going to shoot me if I try to open it. I don't know. Let's see. Ah, right, I need permission from Evangelist. Evangelist Mayweather himself. Or Evangelist. A Ven, a Van, who cares? A Ven, a Van, a Pen, a Tan. It's all the same to you and Sam. Where is Mayweather? I can't seem to go very many places at all, actually. I think I tried to go in here and, yeah, they just yelled at me there, too. Now, I know that I learned about, uh, what was it, Mayweather's wife, I think? And the fact that her husband was abusing her? L let me see if I can go talk to her again and see if some new dialogue options pop up. It's Ascension McDade, I don't want to talk to you. She should be in here. Yeah, there we go, Fealty Mayweather. Have you decided to join the Church Ecstatic after all? No, I have not. What do you know about Church Vigilant? Sims? Okay. Nope, can't do anything there yet. Yeah, so I'm not actually sure where to start, so I'm just gonna kind of go around and see if I can find something, and when I do, I will be right back. Okay, so apparently I can actually go inside and talk to the prisoners? I think these are prisoners, I'm not quite sure. But apparently I can talk to them without this guy trying to shoot me. He told me to just move along, so I just assumed he would shoot me if I tried speaking with him, but yeah, apparently not. Oi Vatos, I appreciate you helping my brother, but I ain't leaving until all the penitents can leave. Comprende? Until then, I'm here and I don't know you. Got it? We met an Alex Bermudez. He's dead. Uh, any relation? Yes, you know him? Where is he? Is he okay? Um... Uh... Nope, he's dead. That's how you tell someone they've lost a brother? What the hell is wrong with you? Vaya con Dios, hermano. Is he going to blow himself up or something? Hold on, tell me about the penitents first. Penitents my ass, we're just slaves. I never joined this fucking church. The knights scooped me off of, off the uh, street in Watts. Said I couldn't pay their tithe, whatever that is. And I had to earn my salvation through work. Lovely people. Level up. Seven points, nice. Some machine guns or energy weapons. Being near the end of the game, I feel like I'm gonna face some massive monster mechs or something, so let's go with energy weapons. Alright, can I talk to the other penitents? What the hell? Ah, uh, teaching them a lesson.
I suppose I could let them out by unlocking this. But wouldn't they know it was me? I mean, surely they'd see me. Plus, the fact that they're still alive means they'd probably just shoot the penitents. Which is not great. Okay, time to keep looking. Okay, these people keep telling me to F off and leave when I go inside of here. But I do want to talk to Paladin White. Maybe they'll be fine with it? Let's see. They might try to shoot me. Yeah, what? It's really strange. They talk as if they're about to shoot you, but then you can just talk to them anyway. Although he does seem to be... He does seem to be pretty pissed off. Didn't you hear me, dog? You solely holy ground with your filthy hind paws. You look worse than dregs in the penitent tent after Alish has finished with them. These are the paladin's barracks. No place for your festering scabs. Oh, hold on, what, what the hell did he say? This covers it up. I can't see. Unless you have more forbidden substances, then... Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Uh... What did he want? Beer or drugs? Plenty of booze. You've saved your life, Aspirants. Very resourceful. Resourceful enough that we will allow you to stay and bask for a moment in our presence. Let's drink to the resourceful Aspirants, shall we, boys? Maybe one day they'll be resourceful enough to join the Paladins. What happens in the Penitent Tent? The, the penitent tent. Yeah, they work those saps over pretty good. Need to beat the sin out of them. Occasionally we get a newcomer that's got a little going on. Then we have some fun. Uh. That means what I think it means, doesn't it? Okay, so they turn people into slaves and if they think they're attractive they rape them. You're such wonderful people. I saw a busty blonde newcomer in the tent earlier. Is this to distract him? Well, this is the guy I can get drunk, right? If I keep giving him beer? Or is he already drunk? Let's see what happens. Huh? A new blonde? Long legs? Big tits? You don't say. I might have to go check that action out. You do that. Is he actually going to go? Alright, let me see if I can just keep giving him alcohol. <laughs> there we go. And let's do it again. I don't know if I if that did anything, and I don't... Oh no, I do have more beer. Sweet. Two more. Yeah, two more. At some point, he's just gonna be like, Oh, come on, he's just gonna shoot me in the face. Nothing seems to actually be happening. Yeah, I don't think that's doing doing anything. Hmm. Okay, now what? How would I put Ascension McDade in power? Should I try to join his group? Perhaps that will do it? Or at least allow me to start to do it? Let's go speak with him. You wish to join the Church of Vigilant and become a torturer? I really still don't want to. But if I don't do this, I feel like I'm just going to end up shooting everybody and that's it. Alright, fine, I'll be a torturer. 
Let me give you a final chance to withdraw. What I'm about to say cannot leave this room unless you are with me. If, after you hear it, you refuse to help, you will not be allowed to leave this room. I will call my fellow vigil Vigilance, and you will die. Understand? Excellent. Now, do you still want to help me? No. I feel like I can't do anything if I don't say yes, though. Well, hey, I always have a fallback, right? Could always just start shooting everybody. Good. Then listen. I have observed Evangelist Mayweather for some time, and have found that he is corrupt in so many ways. He has used church tithes as, as his own. He has committed sins of the flesh and led others to sin. He is also, I believe, making deals with the vilest of sinners in order to consolidate his power here in the Bastion. Sadly, I haven't had the courage to look for physical evidence of these crimes. His paladins guard his quarters day and night, and are the militia's deadliest troops. What I want you to do is find this evidence so that I can bring down Mayweather and take charge of the Salvation Church myself. The Church has long been in need of a period of reassessment, and that is what I intend to bring about. Now, Rangers, what do you want from me? What is your half of the deal? Give me that radio tower. You want to use our radio tower to broadcast Desert Ranger transmissions? I have no problem with that at all. Once Mayweather is deposed and I am the leader of the church, I will happily give you access to the tower. So, do we have a deal? Sure. Excellent. Return to me with the evidence and I will move against Mayweather. And it would be wonderful to have you along when I confront him, in case things get ugly. Now go with God, Rangers. Okay, unfortunately none of that really helps me. He gives me a direction to look in, but I still don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get past his guards and get into the barracks or whatever. Why can't I open this? What the? Huh? Wait, he said something? Okay. I'm just gonna load my game. I didn't see that he was saying something. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, I was thinking he'd be okay with it because I kind of just agreed to help him. So it'd be all like, cool, sure. Alright, so where are the barracks exactly? I don't even really know. Anything new from you? Nope. <laughs> what if I just say yes to join, like, everybody's church? Like, I'll just join all of them. Well, it's gotta be somewhere out here. Dumbass look sharp over there. Wait. Is he drunk? Wait, is he gone? I think he is gone. Whoa, 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 don't go in there. Jesus. I clicked outside the vents, not inside. Stop! I think the evidence might be in here, and what's up with this? An eyeball sits in the display case. Hmm? Okay, well there's no way they're just gonna let me saunter on up there and just open that case. How do I get them to fuck off? Is Mayweather over here?
Apparently not. Where is the tent that I sent him to? Anything new from you, Maggie? Nope. Will this guy let me in? No? Let me try to open it. Should start the dialogue, I think. Yeah. What the fuck is Mayweather? Like, am I just missing, um... An instance to go inside of? Like... I feel like I'm just missing a door. He's gonna tell me to leave, right? Yep. What am I missing? Hold on. I think maybe I just need to fight these people. Maybe that's it? I don't even know if these are the right people. Are these even the Baladins? The Ecstatic Knights? I don't know. I have no idea what to do. It just feels like everybody wants to shoot me and I can't go anywhere. So, screw it. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here, blah blah blah. These people actually have a lot of hit points. In seven armor, holy crap. I think my energy weapon would actually be appropriate here. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah, I think it would be. <laughs> That's such a cool effect. Turned into goo. Useless as always. That just decimated our group. They also killed one of their own people, which is not too bright. For the love of God. Actually, grenades are not bad here. Yeah, 400 damage in total, that's pretty good. laser this dude in the face. And then... Oh, I don't have enough AP. Damn. Oh, no! I loved him so much. Punch him.
Congratulations, Echo. Yulia? Six points? Hmm. -mm. Guess I'm just gonna save it up for shotguns. Yeah. Ooh, laser sight. Nice. Get a nine tails, of course, and another laser sight. These people have nice weapons. Let's see, does anybody need a laser sight? That's a barrel, right? No, no, it's an under barrel. Yeah, under barrel. Anybody missing an underbarrel? Underbarrel flashlight? <laughs> it's a freaking weapon uh, level 2 mod. That's terrible. Let's take that piece of crap off. Yeah, I successfully removed it. I can't wait to reuse it by putting it in the garbage. Plus 15% chance to hit. That is beautiful. Ooh, under barrel. There we go. What the hell? It got exploded. I hope I didn't just lose the possibility of getting the evidence. That wasn't the evidence, was it? Maybe this is the evidence. I doubt it. <laughs> Sim's Eye. It's a quest item. Logbook updated for what? We stole Sim's eye from the display case now to show it to Fealty. What? Why would I show it to her? What is, why does this matter? I don't understand the implications of this, but okay, sure. I guess I did the right thing. And I'm hoping the people inside here don't want to kill me. They don't care that I just murdered a bunch of people outside. Nope, they're cool. Awesome. Heels, please. Yo, Fealty. Take a look at these peepers. Have a look at this. What is this? I know that eye. I know that green. Tell me how you got it. Tell me. Oh, wait. Sims. Was that the person that was her previous husband? I think. I kind of forgot. Yes. It was. That's why this matters. Wait, you're telling me that his eye was just on a display case and, like, nobody noticed? I mean, he was just putting it out there. He was literally putting it on display in the display case. It's really strange. Sanctity is a man that killed Sims. Oh, merciful God. Why did you let this happen? All this time, I've blamed myself for being a bad wife, for not loving malediction as I should. For letting him draft for me, a draft from me into sin because I could not please him, and now I learned this—that he killed the man I loved to have me. No wonder he repulsed me. No wonder it was such a torture to lie with him. My God, if only I was strong enough to hurt him. If only there was some chance of vengeance. Well, about that. Can we have the evidence? 
You want evidence of Mao's corruption? Oh, I have this. I have that. By God, I do. He would take pictures. Videos. Himself with horrors. With penitents. Then he would flaunt them at me to show me how he wished me to perform my wifely duties. Just wait here one moment. I'll be right back with everything you need. Thank you. <laughs> Just a half pound stack of files and photos and videos. Nice. Okay. Glad I could help. Except I didn't do anything. <laughs> Some of the silliest, like, boss to boss fights I've ever seen. Bastion Radio Tower Gate Key. Nice. Please, take the small token of my appreciation. Thank you again, Rangers. That's it? Well, that was easy. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Echo 1, congrats. Ten points. Hmm... At this point, it almost doesn't matter what I get. Safe cracking, pointless, I have a trinket. Animal whisperer, pointless, I have a trinket. Outdoorsman. I guess outdoorsman is the only thing I can actually even get to a moderately reasonable level before probably the end of the game. Everything else is just far too low and other people already specialize in them. So, yeah. Okay. What do my quests say now? We need to inform Veronica that McDade is now in control of the Bastion. Alright, let's get that started. Can finally do the whole, what was it, the HCC? That whole plotline? Vote her into office? And then after that's done, I'm going to come back, completely screw over McDade, and free all the penitents.
I believe this is the House of Pleasure, right? I think so. I think the one over is the diner. Schwag's diner? Yeah, this has got to be it. Yo, I did the thing. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the HTC meeting. It's just the beginning. You're just in time. I'll meet you there. Sounds good. Just kind of curious where there is. I think... When I was reading about where the HCC members were, because I couldn't find them for a while, I think somebody... I think I came across somebody asking where the HCC meeting was. I think they said it was, like, access from the main room. So, it might be this. Yeah, here we go. Alright, let's get Heidi out of power. I think we just need a simple majority. And... There we go. Wait, I'm sorry, they can't accept true sins such as slavery? But they have slaves themselves. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Everything just pretty much solved itself. If only politics were this easy, right? You got some bad dudes and he's like, gather some evidence and you just go kill a couple other bad dudes and you steal an eye and you show it to some, some woman and she gives you a pile of evidence and then you put some piece of shit torture in power and then he talks to this other town and they negotiate a deal and then they're like, yeah, I'm not a torture piece of shit anymore, I'm just gonna let the slaves go and everything's fine. If only real life was like that. What's up, Veronica? Peace is within our grasp, Rangers. But I know Heidi well enough to not let down my guard. Unless we find her soon, she'll be back. With an army she charmed into working for her. I know we've asked a lot of you already, but do you think you could track her down? And ensure she doesn't return? It would be my pleasure. Thank you, Rangers. You'll be the saviors of Hollywood. Oh, just had a thought. You might want to go to Heidi's office and check her files. She may have had plans or notes on hiding places in secret passages. If you need me, I'll remain here. I think I've already been to her office. Didn't I already, like, grab her files? 
and find out that she had some sort of a connection to, what was it, the salt trade? I think it was. Didn't she have a key to the sewers? Maybe there's something new there now? Where was her place? I think it's in the basement. Yeah, there's a bodyguard down there in the basement. Oh my god, everybody's fucking. Oh god, yes. So much fucking. Oh. Oh, even that feels good. Let the pain flow into you and oh god, I think it did. <laughs> I think the draft just killed the bodyguard. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, you were going to try to kill me anyway, so I guess I'm not sorry. Maybe she escaped into the sewers. Although I've already cleaned out the sewers, so... I'm not exactly sure what that would really mean. Yeah, I've already checked this place out. I already opened up her safe. What did I find? I think it was just a key. I can't really remember. Oh, that's a radio tower gate key. What in the hell was it? Oh, Salt Lab keycard. That was it, right? Yeah, maybe she's down there. Alright, well, I'm going to call that some pretty solid progress. I was fully expecting this to turn out, uh, the whole Griffith Observatory thing. I was fully expecting that to turn into, I have no idea what to do. I'm going to do the suboptimal thing. Everybody's going to get mad at me. I'm going to have to kill everybody. And my solution is going to be shitty and not really utilize my speech skills or anything like that. And actually, I guess in the end, it really didn't utilize my speech skills, did it? But nonetheless, it actually ended up pretty well. I joined in with a piece of shit. Like I mentioned before, McDade. I agreed to be a torturer, even though I definitely didn't want to. And then somehow ended up getting out of doing any torturing, and I guess I stopped him from torturing people. I think. Really makes no damn sense, but somehow everything worked out. So I'm pretty damn happy. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and the next episode I'm going to try to track down Heidi, who is probably hiding... Heidi's hiding out in the hidey hole of the sewers. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs>